guys. So, welcome back to the Chop Shop, or X Chop Shop, whatever you want to call it. Got my uh, car ball freshly rebuilt. My fault that I got all gummed up. It's what it is. But we're down to uh, replacing some crush washers for my brakes so I can bleed them. I'll throw that carburetor on. I got some ethanol free fuel we're gonna throw in here, some new filters, and uh, I hope to drive it today. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so I got that uh, those crush, wa crush washers swapped out. And in case you're wondering why I'm a carburetor guy when everybody isn't, I mean, I'm just gonna go ahead and install this guy just live here, real quick. From start to finish, I mean, it's just four bolts. right there that guy's plugged in some guys run the throttle return spring forward I happen to have a little perch here and I just ran mine backward I think it's just a personal preference is what it comes down to some guys might argue otherwise but this works just fine it's kind of a pain to get hooked but works just fine Boom! There's my throttle return, vacuum line hooked up, carburetor bolted down. And otherwise, all I need to do is just uh, tie in my fuel line. But I actually got uh, a roll of fuel line. We think all that gunk came from the truck's original fuel line. And the stuff's pretty cheap. I'm going to go ahead and replace it. When you come back, put fire this bitch up. Alright, so it was raining there pretty tight up between the steering box and everything. Um, Honesty, it's in pretty rough shape. I probably should have known better. And even look at the uh, the filter we installed later. Look how rusty and cloudy that thing is. And this is you know a fuel tank that never gets used in this clean, this fresh fuel. So it's definitely that line. So I'm gonna go ahead and go grab my roll, get it up in there. Like I said, we're gonna fire this thing up here today. Brakes are all bled, adjusted fully functioning the way that we should be we go to fire the truck up and of course same thing happened to my nice polished poly fuel pump see in there it's all gunked up same way my carburetor was so now I'm uh, running all the way across town to get a factory replacement which will be just fine but still super annoying all right, so fuel pump replaced, carburetor rebuilt. Uh, we just shot some fuel all the way up to the lines. Both bowls are fuel. Both bowls are full of fuel. Uh, we're gonna have to set timing. But other than that, the theory things to fire up.
unhooked it? No, nope. don't. No? Leave it, it unhooked? Yep. guys so it's uh next day truck is running good it was getting a little bit warm but there's no uh thermostat in it and there's potentially an air pocket in here somewhere so i'm gonna drain some of this coolant get its thermostat put in real quick and we should have some help coming over here shortly to help put this bed on and uh, after that we're gonna adjust the fuel cell wire up them tail lights and then you know obviously the list is gonna go on and on and on until it's perfect but in theory, we're gonna drive this thing, so stay tuned.
thermostat to pop open. See if she stays cool idling here. Still and open. There she's going. Starting to do something now. See if she stays cool. Probably coming off the, the flange gasket there. Yeah? Hell yeah. So Eric's got this side all wired up, good to go. Unfortunately, it looks like one of my sockets is bad over here. So I'm kind of gonna have to replace one of those, but not necessarily a big deal. Not gonna prevent me from potentially driving this thing today. And then, as sketchy as this looks, actually turned out quite well. And my nice little turnbuckle, these are, these are tight as shit too. These ain't going nowhere. I mean, that's the bed rattling, that's not the tank. And uh, I even got it kind of half ass plumbed in for now, should probably secure it more than that at some point in time, but for driving it around the yard purposes, it's gonna work just fine. So, tank's in, plumbed, I'll probably put some fuel in it, see if it leaks, and bolt this bed down, and probably go drive this one. Leaks. 
I'm looking for a bag. Huh? Got a bag. Huh? I got a bag. You got some weed? You holding that on me? And you're right, it's a maybe. Very maybe. No, fuck you. So I'm right there. <laughs> now it's tucked up in there. Well, if you can't get it, huh? God, I can't believe how much mold this thing grew all over it. It's your dirty ass, Sandy. My serpentine belt actually managed to cut a small hole in my lower radiator hose. So we're staying as cool as we can, stuck behind uh, slow traffic, trying to nurse it back to the house. But uh, we're going to make it happen. Yeah, fucking perfect day, man. It's we sprung a little leak. My fucking you're saying my uh serpentine cut into my belt. But uh other than that, we put probably five five or so miles on it. Ran good, shit to good, it didn't break up or anything. Hissing. Alright guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. That's where I'm gonna wrap it up. Clearly, we ran into a little bit of hiccup there. Just is what it is. That's just car building. But I drove it the first time in three years. I drove Sandy. Um, probably going to end up having to scoop up an aluminum radiator, that donor radiator with a probably an undersized fan. It is struggling to keep the truck cool. Those things are all pretty affordable anymore. So probably conquer that here in the next couple weeks. I've completely drained every ounce of energy and extra money I've had 
to, to make this happen. Um, so it'll probably be a couple weeks. Um, there is a tiny little leak coming from my beer keg fuel cell. There's a local company that refurbishes uh, semi-fuel tanks, basically, um, and they do an internal coating for those. So that's something I'm going to get knocked out eventually, too. Um, but other than that, like, that truck run and drove perfect. I had no complaints. Probably using alignment. Um, but yeah, man, I, man, what a relief. After three years and so many hiccups in the last couple of weeks, finally got to drive my truck. And I'm so, so stoked about that. Um, huge shout out to Eric and Jesse and Kyle and just so many people have been around to, to wrench and teach me things to, to make this thing happen. Because I'm not, definitely not a rich man. And a lot of the things that I did in this truck were all new to me. Like I've always been to, into cars and stuff, but not always had the opportunity to, to go full blown hands on. So, you know, I've, I've never done a frame notch and I've never broken a cam. In fact, I've never even installed an aftermarket cam before. Um, if you remember correctly, that motor came out of a boat. So that was a Marine engine that all got swapped back over, got some performance parts, the cam and everything. You know, I've never had a transmission apart. Uh, I'm not good at wiring. So this truck, I've never done floorboards. I, I've pretty much never done any of the stuff I did to this truck. So most of it was all a learning experience for me. So hopefully that expire, expires, inspires you guys to go out there and get busy. Because if you really dedicate yourself to it, if you really want to get it done, you can make it happen. Because I am no expert by any means. But um, stay tuned. You know, the truck's clearly not done. Projects are never done. But there's definitely some some tweaking and some little bit of things we got to get done in the truck to have a full blown on the road. Many more projects and stuff coming along. We we'll digging into the lightning as soon as we get moved and shit. Um, Eric has all the projects in the world. We've got a cam swap and Holly EFI uh, sniper system to go on his diplomat, which is eventually going to get a 6.4 Hemi that he's bringing home. Um, and then that engine is going to go in his scamp, and we're bringing home a 318 Magnum to go in his old 50s cop car so he's got infinite amounts of projects that'll likely all end up uh on the channel because him and i just we just always wrench together is what we do but um stay tuned guys don't forget to like subscribe share thanks for hanging out deuces